dun 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 Hello everybody, my name is Madison and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, the room's a mess and this makes me want to clean. Not the mess, but the bookshelves. Because the bookshelves have been in desperate need of help for a long time. Because they're not all filled with books, so they just become like a catch-all for a lot of junk that I don't even need. Um, and... It's really bad now. So, welcome to this video. We are going to clean my shelf and organize my books and get rid of books that I don't want anymore. And I'm not going in like an unhaul in this video or probably within this year, but I will get my shelves organized so all the books that I would be willing to unhaul, sell, donate to the library, stuff like that, will be in one section of my bookshelves so that when I do go and finally get rid of everything, it is not going to tear my shelves apart. We're going to we're gonna fix the shelves today and then we don't have to worry about the later aspect of it. But first thing, if you guys can't tell, I'm one of those people that puts things on my shelves. They are very full and that's because I have all of these goodies that I really really love and I want to display and see and I have nowhere else to put them so a lot of stuffed animals that I have or stuffies, birthday gift, um, graduation gift, Christmas gift um, and then stuff from like the author herself sent me that bookmark and this is uh, stuff that I've Bought. This is all from a Loom and Crate book box. This is from like the signing of Lee Bardugo's King of Scars. So there is just a bunch of stuff on my shelves and I need to take all of that off and decide what I really want to keep and stuff like that in front of the books. Because <laughs> some shelves you can't even see the books. There's so much junk on them. Um, uh, and yeah, one thing I will promise you that we are not getting rid of is the Harry Potter shelf because I love Harry Potter and we're not getting rid of any of these things. I love the way this looks too, so this is probably going to stay the same. It will have to come down because my shelves need dusted really bad. They have, I've had these since my 15th birthday, so about, I don't know, I've probably had these shelves for like four or five years almost at this point and I don't, I can't recall the last time I cleaned them probably when they got delivered. So, if I want to keep my books looking nice and tidy, I gotta clean the shelves, so. The first shelf is done. Getting rid of, keeping. Knickknacks. Okay, here is one tiny little tidbit. Um, I have three copies of this. If I don't like this book at all, I mean that it. So I don't want all three copies. And that's like something that I'm just going to look through. I do have a couple copies of, um, I think I only have multiple copies of Sarah J. Mass books. I think that's it. And I don't want to get rid of those, even though I don't like Sarah J. Mass. But these, yeah, I do. Um, first one I would very willingly give away, even though it is signed to me is this one because it is damaged and I did annotate it partially until I DNF'd it. Um, this one is also personalized to me, but this is the special edition I have of this book. Um, not signed. I just really love this edition because of how gorgeous it is. So, uh, this is kind of where we rest, and, um, I don't know. I also, like, just really like the feel of this. Like, if this book was signed and personalized to me, then I'd have no problem getting rid of the other one. But this is a Lumicrate special edition of this book, and I 
just think it is so pretty. Like, I just really like the way it looks. Like, the monster is me and I am the monster. I love Nikolai. He's like one, he was, he was one of my favorite characters for a very long time. And I don't want to get rid of this. Because it's so pretty. But I'm also like, it's personalized, assigned to me. So, this is what I have to decide. Like, come on. But I also just don't really like the Bardugo anymore. So, I would really be like willing to get rid of both of these. Or maybe I still keep these two. <laughs> you know what? I think I want to keep both. <laughs> I think that's what we've come to is I'm going to keep the original that's signed and personalized and then the special edition. Um, because looking at them like this, they are just so beautiful. I don't want to get rid of them. Okay, everybody, the bookshelves on this side, the two bookshelves are completely cleaned off. Junk, knickknacks, the books, they're all gone. This, I'm going to wait to do until I have more room because the desk, the chair, the desk, the books, like my floor is completely covered in books now and... While I love the way this looks, in a way, because, like, look at my collection. Um, I don't want to do any more to the other bookshelves until these are gone and put back on the shelf. So, these are all of the books that I would love to unhaul one day. I'm kind of, I'll count them at the end and see how many there are. And we'll also count and see how many books I actually have on my shelf. I'm saying probably about 200 that I will be keeping. And then however many is that in the donation pile. But yes, this is them. I don't know how I'm going to organize them. I also have my Harry Potter books, my collections. Harry Potter. I have this and some Troll Hunter stuff over there. And then... My favorite book of all time, which I do want to reread one day to read the sequels. And yes, that's what's on the shelf. And then my Harry Potter books that I got from the library through donations are down here. Because I don't want to know what's on them on my bed. You know what I mean? You know? Man, I guess this came from an Amazon warehouse. So where has this been? Where has this been? I don't know. Anyway, I'd also love to hang up that Harry Potter, Harry Potter poster right there one day. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go get ready for bed. However, the next step in this journey will be dusting these shelves, cleaning them up. So the shelves have been dusted. These ones have. This one's obviously not been, but these have been dusted. So it's time to start putting the books back on here. And I'm going to put Sarah J. Mass and Lee Bardugo up here. I'm going to put Harry Potter back here, obviously. Um, and then I think I'm going to put my favorite books on that shelf instead. So and then I just think, I think it's going to be like that. I don't know, we'll have to look. But I know these two shelves are for certain going to be Sarah J. Mass and Harry Potter. But I think first thing I'm actually going to do is put the books that I'm going to put on the bottom shelf which are going to be the donations. And I'm also going to throw away the trash pile that I've decided I don't want on my bookshelves anymore. So, there we go. That's the plan. The first shelf is done. Again, this is the donation unhaul shelf. And now I'll move on to the second shelf right there. That is going to be the same vein. When you look at the unhaul pile like this, you're like, holy crap, that's a lot. <laughs> 
But I put the Harry Potter books up there and now I am doing this part of it. Why? Did, why? I wanted to. And I actually had this Brent Weeks series on my favorite bookshelf on my favorite books bookshelf, but I haven't read the whole series. I've only read this one and I did like it, but I need to reread them. And I don't know what to put here. Like what goes there to kind of fit the theme, you know? And I'm not entirely like I don't this is just so hard to put anywhere because it's so awkwardly shaped and sized that I don't know if I want it to be facing out, but that's kind of like the only way you can put it. I don't really know yet. Okay, I kind of didn't stop once I started, so ta-da! These are the new shelves. Uh, they are very different, and I have like a lot. I don't know if, I think I might, no. I, mm-hmm. I think I filled at least like one more shelf than the previous one because I have so many books facing forward and once I kind of started with this shelf facing the books forward I was like well that's going to be the theme so each shelf has to have one book facing forward and they all do. Look at it. Look at the beauty. Ta-da! And then I'm going to put library books right there and there just to kind of fill the space because this is like the nonfiction with mine and my mom's like favorite nonfiction books. So I either need to buy more nonfiction or what? Or I can just, this is like the books that I didn't, I forgot about until the end and then there was no room. So this is the shelf. We have Sarah J. Mass up here with the special edition Throne of, nope, Court of Thorns and Roses right there. You go over here to Harry Potter where you have my favorite Harry Potter book illustrated edition facing outward. Eventually, I still need to get book six in paperback, all of the rest of the hardcovers, all of the illustrated, and the rest of these beautiful editions. But for now, this is what I have. Over here, you have Lee Bardugo, and I chose this one to face outward because I just like the way it looked better than this one, and it kind of, like, matches the Sarah J. Mass book. And then we have a bunch of hardcover books. Moving on to fantasy. Did I like this? No. Do I like the cover? Yes. That's why it's forward, okay? Down here, you have romance into YA into contemporary mystery fantasy and then you have like my favorite books um I haven't given all of these five stars five star five star I think I gave the first one of these five star five star five star five star uh, troll hunters do I need to explain more and then I like the cover of this book and then I needed more space so I, I need to fill the space so I just put those two there um middle grade shelf is right below the this one, and this has Percy Jackson, the spinoff to Percy Jackson, you have Keeper of the Lost Cities, and right there you have Wonderscape. So I put book five facing forward because it's my favorite Keeper of the Lost Cities books, and we don't talk about how terrible that series is now. Okay, we don't. And then down here you have another middle grade shelf, the Hookie graphic novels, um, going on, you have like some fantasy into contemporary, into fantasy, into Alex Ryder. So, there's that. And then, yeah, like I said, this is kind of like nonfiction. Um, there's two little middle grades right here that I couldn't fit onto the middle grade shelves. The, uh, Grimm Fairy Tales. These are books from somebody who I talked to at the library. He wrote them, and he gave me signed copies of them. They are nonfiction. Then we have To Kill a Mockingbird, and then nonfiction. This is mine, this is mine, this is mine, and Away Raw, the mom, the rest of the mama. So, yeah. And I did like this one. I haven't read this one. And I wrote a report on this guy. Look him up. He is very, he's like so interesting. I love his story. So, yeah. And then all of the donations, which I'm not really going to go into because it's kind of a sad, really big sad pile. So, there we are, you guys. I haven't done this yet. Um, so, I think I will include a clip right now of it clean, as you saw. But this is the bookshelves. I really do like the way they look. I hope you guys do too. And I still have room, like, 
If I get more books that fit this section, then I'll just turn this around and fill the books in and I won't really have to like redo the shelves again. So yeah, I like it and there's nothing on them right now except for like a couple of Harry Potter stuff and that bookmark and I just like how clean it looks. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with all the knickknacks, but here we are you guys, here we are. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post crazy, wacky, non everything the same type of videos. So if you like book videos, I got that. If you like language videos, I have that. If you like cooking videos, I might have some of those coming soon. So just, you know, hang around, see what you like. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Au revoir, salut, hey du, adios, goodbye.